Hey guys, this is Moxie and Niall Lynn. Thanks for tuning in. Moxie is my little Shih Tzu rescue puppy that is asleep right there in her crate. And this is a puppy crate setup and a puppy essentials video. So as you can see, there's the crate and I put a pee pee pad on the left there and her bed on the right. Um, in the original video that I'll link below, I had a little hammock. It was hard for her to jump in and she just finds this bed really cozy. So I got that at Petco and it was in the cat section and it was $8. You'll need puppy training pads, as you can see over to the left. You'll need a little dish I'll put the link below of where I got that dish and a little um, a little thing for the water as well as she has some toys she has a soccer ball a Kong she's sleeping on top of it <laughs> over there and you'll need some food which is I picked spots stew because from halo because it's really really healthy you'll need a little measuring cup that's a one-fourth cup measuring cup because you're going to want to split up the food throughout the day so that your puppy eats on a schedule I also got another little half um, cup thing over there that is collapsible and that I can carry with me for when I travel and I got that at home goods let's see that's from home goods and it is called a clip scoop and it is collapsible and it's from Dex as popware for pets okay this bin over here I actually keep the halo food in there it's from the dollar store it's just a bin that goes closed so that she doesn't get into her food um, when she's awake because although she's sleeping right now she's very frisky when she's awake I have a little blanket that's um, for a stroller back there that's tied so that she can't drag it around just in case she eliminates over here so that that she doesn't pull that in there but she's been pretty good about that she actually um, potties on her potty pad and then sleeps in her bed she is not going to potty in her bed she's a very clean dog and most dogs don't like to eliminate where they sleep so that's a good thing to know so then the hammock wasn't necessary as you can see the dish and the water thing back there you'll also need for your pet a harness which she is wearing it's a little hard to show and I don't know if I want to wake her up because she's really sound asleep but you've seen it in pictures and videos it's a little harness it's from pet life and it's pink and you're going to want to clip the leash onto the harness now at first when you get your dog you don't when it's a puppy before all our shots are done you don't want to take it around other dogs and you really don't want to walk it a lot outside at all and you really probably shouldn't take it out at all you keep it in the house where it's safe until it gets all its shots unless you have like a really safe backyard but you have to supervise it um, because it, it you know she needs her shots she has to get all of her rabies shots all the other shots there's a whole series of shots so talk to your vet about that and don't take the dog out until the vet says so but you'll want to get the leash ahead of time you can use the leash in the apartment get her used to it walking back and forth and you can use the leash for training so this is for from um, Petco and it's called Flexi Durabelt and it's a 10 foot leash and it's extra strong but extra small so it's perfect for her. Um, you'll, you're going to want to get some toys. She has a Kong in there. Um, she has some other toys, a soccer ball, something fluffy and um, you're going to want to get some treats. So treats are for training and these are some training treats that I got at Marshalls and they were only $2.99 as you can see and I liked them because there's no corn or soy or other things that are bad for her. They were only $2.99 and she loves the way they taste. She especially loves this one. You'll see right here I got a clicker. I got that at Petopia and that's for training and she knows when she hears that she's done something good, right? Um, you'll want to get something for her teeth and to chew on. So I got these and she loves these. Um, she chews them up. They're for cleaning the teeth. They were $5.99. I got them at Petopia and they have all kinds of good ingredients in them, which is hard to see here, but they're organic and really, really healthy. I think I talked about the paws. Um, I got the tiny paws, which you'll see in the video that I'll link below before I got her. But, you know, she's a Shih Tzu, so she has little bear paws. So I needed to get this extra small. Not the extra extra, but the extra small. So I went back and got those. Um, and those are for protecting her feet from salt, as well as, like, just the yuck that's on New York City streets. Like, ugh, dare I say it, rat pee. Yeah, that's toxic, too little puppies that don't have their shots yet so but I wouldn't take her out in the rain now anyway um, you'll want to get some shampoo I got this at home goods it was half off there's a video about that I'll link it below and I got it because I had seen it in a lot of other videos and it's specifically for puppies and um, it really smells nice you'll want to get a collar Oop, that's all gonna fall over oh sorry Moxie that woke her up sorry sweetheart I didn't mean to knock that over and wake you up 
And um, so this is the shampoo. Okay, let's see if we can get that to balance there. You want to get a collar, and that's where you're going to put her name tag. So you don't use the collar for um, using the leash. You use the harness. Oh, there, you can see the harness there for the leash because you don't want to choke a small dog and they tend to have problems with their trachea. So don't put the clip this on here, get the harness to clip on. You'll want to get some poopy bags for her poop to scoop up. Um, and um, this is from my vet, a ear cleaning solution. Don't um, start cleaning your dog's ears unless the vet says so. That's specifically from the vet. And what you'll need if the vet says, yes, clean her ears because she has like a little bit of stuff in her ears, you will need some cotton balls. And so I have those. Now there's Q-tips that just came in this pack. I really don't use the Q-tips a lot. I do put them in a little bit of warm water sometimes and then like just dust off the tip of her nose with them because she tends to, because she has a little short snout, get a little bit, um, you know, sniffly in the nose and have a lot of stuff um, and she sneezes a lot. And that's a, that's a Shih Tzu thing. So that's not for all breeds of dogs. Um, and as you can see, she's moving around in there because she hears me. You'll want to get a travel bag. I'll link the video below for that. Um, this is a travel bag that was only $9.99. You're going to be taking your puppy back and forth to the vet to get their shots. So you're going to need something to keep them safe in. And this black travel bag is great for that. I also have this little pink one that I carry around in that you'll see in some of the videos. This pink one I got for five bucks at a pet store. I can't even remember which one. I got it a long time ago when I used to watch my friend's dog. So I used to carry that dog. So I, I've um, had that for a long time. Not sure where it's from, but that's just like to carry around, you know, if I'm not going on any really on public transportation so much. Although I have, uh, did I take her on the subway with that? I might've, I might've taken her on a subway and a bus, but really you're supposed to have them enclosed. But since she's so little and she's so cute, people let her get away with everything. Um, the other thing I have are little face cloths. And I got these with a little um, little kid towel in the kids section because for a Shih Tzu, you're going to be wiping out the sleep from their eyes every morning. So that's for her. Um, this over here, you'll see that I got that as a utensil rack that I have that has her little bags in it as well as shampoos and a brush and a comb and some other um, things and some scissors in them. For Shih Tzus, you're going to want to have um, a pair of scissors it, if you're not going to take them to the groomer. I will take her to the groomer, but I also wanted to be able to do it at home. So, and you'll see in my other grooming setup video that I have a pair of scissors that I'm trying to get out of here that are like this. They're from Scaredy Cut. So that is it. That is our puppy setup video. Here's a brush. Yes, I still haven't got a slicker brush. I have a comb. Um, I put a little bit of the shampoo. This, oh, she see, she's drinking out of her thing there. Good girl. I put a little bit of the shampoo in here, and that's what I use with a little cotton ball to wipe her face or with this to wipe her face. And it's tear-free. That's why I got that shampoo. So this is Moxie and Niall Lynn, and those are your puppy essentials. I hope that's helpful. Thanks for tuning in, and um, enjoy your rescue puppy. It's going to be great. Okay? Thanks so much. Bye-bye.